Hiya. If anyone's interested in the kit I'm using, I thought I'd just do a, a quick run through. This is a, a Thorn Club to a Bicycle from uh, St John's Hill Cycles in uh, Bridgewater in Somerset. The uh, bike has 30 gears, triple on the front and 10 on the back, <clears throat> and that goes from 46 11, which is very fast gear to 26 36 which is a good low gear for going up the hills and I've got the disc brakes which uh, work very well in dry and wet um, so that's all recommended I use toe clips because I don't like my feet bouncing off the pedals over bumps and things and I find it just gives me an extra bit of uh, traction being able to pull on them if I want to um, and obviously mud guards essential for touring Oh, well, these give me a bit of respite when it's. Um, I don't want a change of position, but I like these uh, handlebar grips. They're very uh, good for spreading the weight out. It's loaded with um, Ortlieb panniers. Um, they're very quick release. I've got a, I think it's about a 10 litre uh, dry bag on the back, which has got the tent in it. Uh, and in here I've got my, got my ca other camping gear, my sleeping bag, mat, clothes, food, cooking kit. It's all in there. A couple of one litre water bottles, tool kit down there. Uh, the un unfortunately necessary heavy lock which is an abbas. I've got another little lock here which just allows me to attach it to something. Wouldn't last 10 seconds against a, an experienced thief. My drinking water which I can just reach down and get. Um, I'm using a, a Garmin Edge Explore for my navigation and that works quite well. I've got a, an Ortlieb um, 5 litre bar bag there which again is quick release um, with uh, shoulder straps so I can carry it around like a handbag so I can keep my valuables with me. And I keep this camera that I'm filming this on in a little pouch so it's easy to grab. And most of the filming I've been doing is using a, a DJI Osmo Action camera on my head which is a little bit cumbersome sticking up but it works well. It's easy to switch on and off. And the stand I've got is, is just made from a, a carbon tent pole and uh, I've put a little kind of saddle rest on the top and a rubber foot on the bottom and uh, an elastic brake, hand brake The carbon pole is in three pieces and it just folds up and I've got a little, um, it's just another one of these pump um, holders here and I just strap it in there and the, the saddle sits over there so it uh, stays firmly wedged all day. This is how the little stand folds up and uh, fits into the pump clip with a bit of Velcro strap. In terms of keeping all my electrics charged up got two solar panels <coughs> they're rated as 10 watts but they're more like five watts I, I find on a sunny day they give the just over an amp for charging um, <coughs> on a day like today which is sort of semi cloudy they just about give you a, a reasonably good trickle charge this one keep is plugged into the Garmin while I'm using it most of the time and uh, that tends to keep that um, fully running um, so I, I can use it all day with the display on if I need to um, so it works well um, if it gets very cloudy and dark then it, it doesn't charge on the back I've got the same sort of panel I think these are, these are from Amazon They I think it was a company called Aftech or Alftech and they're similar makes like it and I've got a little anchor um, 6500 I think it is milliampere hour um, battery 
bank which um, is constantly on charge um, and usually I find that that gives me two full phone chargers and a little bit more it's got four LEDs on it and it'll charge two or three of those LEDs on a, a sunny day so that works pretty well for me keeps keeps me going anyway I don't tend to need to charge elsewhere <clears throat> but I can top up in a cafe if I need to since my ride I've changed the saddle from the Cambium that you see here, the C17, which I find a bit wide for my narrow sit bones, to the Brooks Swift, which is a lovely leather one. And I've done two 20 mile rides on it so far, it's starting to shape a little bit. I've also added these pedal flips which help to get the pedal when I want to uh, ride. I also found quite a few times that I wanted to use my phone while I was on the bike and use it for looking at maps and information and it was nice to have it handy. So I bought one of these little handlebar clamps and it's easy to use. Just put the phone in and that's very secure. It bounces a little bit but it stays secure and to get it out you just, this is quite easy really, might not look it on there but just lift that up and you can Pull it out with one hand. So that's quite a good little system, that. And well, that's about it. I hope that's uh, been useful and uh, happy riding. <laughs>